Welcome to Oaks Avenue. Thank you for tuning in and yeah, please come back again. I am Andy Lift. Van Boxberg. I'm Josie Boy Van Ramberg. All right, man. How are you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing good, bro. Um, Why is so. you not feeling good? Yeah, bro. I mean, ah, uh, man, you know, like Sia, Khaleesi and his wife. You're separated. I, I don't even think I believe in love anymore. Man. So, Since that happened, I, I don't feel too well. So this is a national tragedy. Yeah, bro. It's it's just horrible, man. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life after this. stuff. <laughs> Like this, that's all that was keeping me, you know, positive. And I think I'm just not going to be positive anymore, bro. Like, how do you feel about that? Oh, I feel bad for them, bro. But no, you no, know, it's their private lives. Oh, but man, yeah, you know, there's it shook the nation. It's it sh- shook. I saw 9/11 for South Africans. No, bro. I know. I know. I mean, to be honest, I don't really care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you talking about it? <laughs> Well, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sad about it. I'm like, I'm why are you sad? Because right? Sia is getting divorced. It's never nice for anyone to be getting divorced. Then it just means there's shit going on. So it's not life. Yeah, but okay. So you feel sorry for them, right? This isn't yes. really affecting you negatively in life, and you just, oh, dude, I couldn't work the other day because of it. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> like, like it's just oh no, dude. Hey, I'm so invested. Like to be honest, bro, <clears throat> I just didn't like the fact that it just kept popping up because when I found out about the news, I saw it and then I looked at it. Oh, CI and his wife divorced. Damn, you know, and then I moved on. That's it. I just read the headlines. <laughs> and then I don't know, like with time it just kept popping up and popping up, and then I'm like, bro. <laughs> and now there's there's like rumors about what went on. I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. I clicked on one of those videos eventually because it just kept popping up. Yeah. Like I saw one uh, video that said, arrest him. Obviously, that's going to make me click on the video. So I'm like, wait, wait, wait what did he do? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then they just started talking about his personal stuff, which I just don't like. I'm not <clears throat> I'm not a fan of people just exposing people, especially things that we don't know. You know, they, you're not a fan of people exposing people. <laughs> Well, no, you can expose some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can expose some people. Need to be exposed, but I mean, his his uh, thing wasn't something that needed to be put out there. Like his drinking problems, apparently, that he has. You also, yeah. I'm just saying, like, you know, people just don't. I like, need to read more up to. I don't know if Khaleesi had a drinking problem. Hey, um, I also don't know allegedly. Um, that's allegedly. what they put out there, and I, that's why I'm like, you know, I, I don't even want to. Talk of, I, I didn't want to go too into too in depth about this thing because that's his business, bro. Like on his business, yeah. Yeah, man. But anyway, um, oh, but he's got business. He is a puppy. He's been running the country pretty much. <laughs> think about it. He's a captain of the Springboks. He's yeah. been running our country, so he's all like yeah. national treasure. So people are digging deep into his personal life. But maybe it is true. everyone should just leave it alone. Let the man get divorced in peace. Well, that's hard to ask. But to be honest, people like to gossip and people always want to be in other people's business. Like, have you noticed people who, I feel like people who like to be in other people's business do it so that they feel better about themselves. Yeah, I feel like if you do something bad, you want to talk about someone doing something oh. worse. It's like someone who's going to be like, oh, such and such as son is a drug addict, you know, like that kind of thing. Mm, why are you gossiping about someone else's son? Because yeah. your son doesn't have a job or something yeah. like that. Yeah, your son got fired or exactly. whatever. He was like, okay, well, my son got fired. Yeah. Well, yeah. Meredith's son. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw him smoking something <laughs> the other day. <laughs> I, yeah, I saw he was smoking something. <laughs> I think he's a drug addict. <laughs> he's just smoking a bit of weed, man. <laughs> um, who do you think is to blame for them breaking up? So, I think... Terrified. But yeah. sports stars... We're not even that... Di- <laughs> I have no idea what their marriage is like, so yeah. no one can even say, like, true. Why are they breaking up? I blame the school system. Why? I blame schools okay. for them breaking up. Okay. If it, because uh, we went to school for 12 years plus, you yeah. know, and we never once had a lesson about how to uh, sustain a marriage, 
how to choose <laughs> I'm serious how to choose a partner how to choose a partner well, how, how you know like uh, there's so many things that go into it love is not what we saw on Disney Channel love is completely different from that it's not a fairy tale so i think schools had to teach us from at some point right how to love <laughs> Yeah, how to pick a part. You know, there's so many things that what what is what a healthy relationship is supposed to look like, how to resolve conflicts because how many think about all the relationships you've been in. We we don't we didn't know what we were doing, bro. I had no idea what we were doing. Thank you. They taught us in school it would have like saved us a lot of you see what I mean? Not going there. I mean, they taught us about you know intercourse I, I don't know what I can say and not say that was called uh, orientation yeah Love orientation they taught us about how to <laughs> have sex and all that stuff and not once did they teach us about love bro. and like we failed you know I mean we're single right now I mean you so we failed at, at love before so <laughs> <laughs> if there was a subject we would still be in high school <laughs> you see what I mean so you have I mean I don't even know what the statistics are I mean, I'll, I'll, if you can look them up, you know, like about on, on divorce in South Africa. But what I'm saying is schools had to teach us about these things. You have people that are, um, relation, what are they? Relationship advisors or whatever. Um, marriage counselors. Exactly. There we go. They can go to schools and teach people. First of all, there's so many uh, young ladies getting to use of relationships because they don't really understand it starts off at a young age people first of all not only do you need to learn how to uh love in a relationship but you might need to learn how to love yourself i think that's the most underrated love of all of them self-love or self-love so yeah man i'm angry at the schooling system um for uh you know for what happened to sia kodisi and his wife um there's so, so first of all, how to choose a partner. That's one thing. That's one subject you'll add into the school curriculum. Yeah. How do I choose a partner that I can spend the rest of my life? Um, how to resolve conflict. That's very important. Um, so many of us don't know how to resolve conflicts as soon as we get into uh, these relationships. That's why a lot of them fail. Sure. Um, what have have you been in a relationship and had your partner like shouting at you at a point? No, I, like never angry seen. with you or like giving yeah. you a lecture kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. I mean, have you, <laughs> how do you react? Do you sit there quietly and listen, or well, I have to sit there quietly because if I try to defend <laughs> myself, I will get into more shit. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I have to. <laughs> I've just had this tick, and it's. Ever since, like, even I've been in primary school, like, if the teacher's angry with me and having a serious chat with me, uh, I start laughing. <laughs> I, I, I can't, like, it just, it's like a nervous tick. It's like, Tell him. I know I shouldn't laugh right now, and that's going to make me laugh right now. Do you See? get what I mean? I don't find the situation funny. <laughs> I don't find the situation funny, but I just know that I'm being looked at for my reaction. And, uh, and maybe it's 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 like a just a nervous tick. Mm. If someone, yeah, if I feel like someone's that's... looking at my reaction, then I'm going to chuckle. You shouldn't do that, Joe. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, dude. It's bad. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're in a relationship, she's going to be so upset. Like, you think this is a joke. Like, <laughs> and it's I'm happened here. to me, bro. It's, it's happened to me. me. And how did that work out? You know how it worked out. Yeah. yeah. 